I'm Sean, and this is your Art Moments for today. The diagram is maybe a good word for the way I represent other artists. That may be true of cartooning, but it tends to be a diagram of a person. It seems to depict by outlining and delineating in a simple way what a subject is. It's difficult to imagine that the works of acclaimed pop artist Roy Lichtenstein were once considered by art critics as vulgar, empty, lacking depth, with one art critic going so far as to ask the question in a Life magazine article, is Roy Lichtenstein the worst artist in the U.S.? Born in New York on October 27, 1923, Roy's interest in art began at a very early age, as did his interest in jazz music. It's said that he used to sneak out with friends to the Apollo Theater in Harlem so they, they could listen to jazz and Roy could sketch the musicians as they played their instruments. In the beginning, Liechtenstein did not refer to his works as pop art. In fact, he described his style as industrial painting. The moniker of pop art came later when art critics were trying to come up with a way to describe the movement that was overtaking the art world at that time. Some of Roy's first pop art paintings came from a challenge from one of his sons who pointed at a Mickey Mouse comic book and said, I bet you can't paint as well as that, eh, Dad? In true Liechtenstein fashion, the challenge was accepted, and several of Liechtenstein's first paintings featured notable characters from the day from gum wrappers, comic strips, and cartoons. I start <clears throat> probably with an idea, either one I have in my head or something I see in, um, could be a comic book, could be printed somewhere, a newspaper or a uh, phone book. And I do a drawing of that and do it in colored pencil and try to, try to guess at what colors will look like. I project that with an opaque projector up against the wall to see how big I think it, the painting ought to be. And just, just so that way I can just see, you know, is this, 
ridiculous to make it very big or is it, is it just what what's feels to be the right size for this thing to be? I usually have a fair idea even when I'm drawing it. After spending many years as a working artist, a draftsman, and an art professor at many notable universities, it wasn't until the mid-60s before Liechtenstein's work began to receive fame both in the U.S. and worldwide. In 1964, Liechtenstein had his first solo exhibition at the Karl Bach Gallery in New York. It was during this show that he unveiled one of his most famous paintings titled Drowning Girl, which is based on a DC comic called Sacred Heart number 83. In the painting, which he finished in 1963, he used a combination of oil and magna paint. Magna is a early form of acrylic and it's known for giving a smooth, even, vibrant color. It's something that Liechtenstein is known to use in most all of his paintings. The painting was subsequently purchased by the Museum of Modern Art in New York, where it can be seen today. In the late 1980s, I had the great fortune of meeting Roy Lichtenstein in person when he was the featured artist and guest speaker at an event I attended while I was studying at the Savannah College of Art and Design. To say his work has influenced my own to this day would be a vast understatement. I was always attracted to, by his bold use of bright colors, forms, and subject matter, but it was after attending this event and hearing the multi-layers of his creations that really attracted me to his work and the pop art movement. This style still influences my work to this day. Although Liechtenstein spent much of his artistic career experimenting with different styles, techniques, and mediums, it was later in his career that he really began to push the 3D aspect of his works, where he would create a 3D form and then cover it with his stylized painting techniques, which served to flatten the 3D images. Many of his images and sculptures can be seen across the country today, as well as in a rooftop garden at his residence and gallery in New York, which has been transformed into a sculpture garden featuring Liechtenstein's creations. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Art Moments with Sean, where we've spotlighted the artwork of Roy Lichtenstein. If you have any ideas for future episodes or just want to ask a question, you can send it to the email address below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.